Get up and go with Duncan and Carly on demand. The three most often played songs in the U.S. are Happy Birthday, The Star Spangled Banner, and what? Oh, when the saints. Oh, when the saints. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not it. <laughs> uh, is it Jingle Bells? No, it's not Jingle Bells. Three most. Okay, give me the. Th- the three most often played songs in the U.S. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. The Star Spangled Banner and. Oh, I feel like this is probably an obvious answer. Why? Uh, <laughs> long holiday weekend. My brain's still not active. Yeah, right. Uh, what could it be? Uh, is it the wedding march? It's not. Here comes the bride. It is not. Big fat one. Here oh comes the groom. Skinny we, as a broom. Are we back in <laughs> elementary school? Pam chatted in and she has a guess. She says YMCA. Ooh, it's not that. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. You hear that like at every sporting event. Oh, yeah. Uh, is it na 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 na? Hey, hey, hey. No. I don't even know what that song is called. Okay, <laughs> I what is it? I don't know either. Well, you were going the right direction when you said sporting events. The third is take me out to the ball game. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They play that at every game. Yeah. Tiffany wants to know when the pools open. This is going to be another hot day. Are the pools, is it next week? The beaches are open. The pool opens this weekend. Okay. Singular pool. The Silver Lake pool is the only one opening this summer. It opens on Saturday. The Soldier's Field pool is closed all summer long because of a... What about the, the splash pad? The splash pad still haven't heard when that'll be opening officially. Um, I ran over and took some sneak peek pictures, though, if you want to check that out. Is it out. cool? It's pretty cute. I really like the um the big umbrellas that they have too. I think it's really they have like these huge shaded areas that's okay. super nice. For and mom the, and dad? Well, yeah, and then uh, kids if okay. they like decide they finally want to take a break and have a juice box or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I still haven't seen when that'll be opening yet, but it looks pretty close to being done. Just turn the water on. <laughs> well, right. They got to put some grass down and maybe some more seating because there's a lot of dirt that's still around it. That would be nasty and muddy Uh, if they just turn the water on. (laughs) So Parks and Rec says a week and a half. Okay. There you go. That's what I'm seeing here. Subject to change. Of course. (laughs) Depending on, you know, how construction goes. And the weather and all the things. We had the old slip and slide out this weekend. Ooh, nice. Perfect. So one of my neighbors is over and they got a brand new slip and slide for their kid. They're mm-hmm. showing it off. And I was like, you guys remember Crocodile Mile? And they're like, what? And, and you were like, like, we're going to pull off the tarp. Man. We're going to slide down the tarp. Do you remember Crocodile Mile? No. Oh, my god! I have no idea what that is. <laughs> All right. I'm not that old. But it was like, OK, we can never afford one. It was like the upscale slip and slide back in the day in the 90s. It was a long slip and slide. And you like ended up going through a crocodile mouth. Oh, that looks sweet. It was awesome. Like I said, we could never afford one, but we like our friends would always have them. It was so cool. Oh my gosh. Crocodile mile. Okay. Maybe I am old. Oh man. I have a commercial here from 88. So. Okay. It's not that old. I don't even know if they still make them. Probably not. They were awesome though. I remember that in the Super Soaker as a kid. Oh, Super Soakers are the best. Uh Yes. You get the big backpack one. Yes. (laughs) And you're like, oh, God, look out. Troy's coming because he's got the backpack. Uh (laughs) All right. It is Duncan and Carly in the morning. Uh, Thanks for waking up with us today. We've got all that info on the pools, the splash pads, the beaches. Are you a beach or a pool person? You know, I kind of like beaches more. I like to be able to, like, lounge and relax. But at the same time, I really like the water slides because I'm a child. Yeah, the water Can't slides the are pools. great. Yeah. And the beaches are great when they're not crowded. Yes, <laughs> yes. There's cons to both. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jeremy chatted in and said he loves the beach except for the sand. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're saying. The sand is awesome. And then it's not awesome when it gets in places that you don't want it to be. Yeah. Or when you're leaving and you got to dust off and then you track it back into your car. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's the worst because you have to like, 
You have to play it right. Because if you get in the water and then you get out, well, and the sand's sticking to you. So you got to hang out for a little bit so you can dry off, so then you can dust the sand off. But then there's some residue, so you got to get your feet wet again. Oh, and then you got the sand stuck to you again. Oh, my God. By that point, you've been there all day. You just want to go home. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Okay. All right, let's go down that road. What's the most annoying thing about the beach? I'm going to call BS on this. This is from TripAdvisor. They did a big survey about beaches and pools. Okay. It's that time of year, right? Mm-hmm. They say 71% of people think it's fine if a woman wears a skimpy bikini to the pool or beach. No. Now, I'm I'm down with that. Uh-huh. But Are you? I, I don't think 71% of people would be. I really don't think so. That seems really high. It does. They also say 65% of people believe it's fine for men to wear Speedos. No. Where are we, Vegas? Uh, I don't know. That's very European, right? True. Maybe this came from Europe. Where did this survey come from? It's Americans. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, hmm. So they also asked the biggest faux pas. What do you think the top three biggest beach faux pas are? Taking up too much space. Well, that's a good guess. Not on the list, though. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. You know what I would say? What? Like not respecting people's space. Sometimes, mm. sometimes we'll go to the beach and it'll be wide open. And then people p- well, prop their stuff up right next to you. Yeah, and it's you're like, like, what are you doing? Yeah, I don't know you. <laughs> like, I'm here to relax, not make friends. Yeah, like, right. Um, is it playing loud music? Loud music is on the list. Woo! What are people chatting in this morning? Biggest beach faux pas. Aaron says shaking their sandy towel out right next to you. Oh, yeah, that's pretty annoying. bad. Mm. Pretty bad. Don't do that. Michelle and Rochester said leaving their trash everywhere. Okay, yeah, that's annoying. Accurate. Mm-hmm. People are disgusting. Real bad. See, Amy Amy in Rochester says spraying sunblock on others due to proximity slash wind. Okay. She knows what I'm talking about. A lot of people saying smoking. Mm, mm-hmm. I was surprised that smoking is not one of the biggest faux pas. Lynn says this is, this is a good one. Not watching their kids and they're on their phone instead. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's not good. Dangerous. Yeah. And also, if your annoying. kids are being annoying, yeah. that's really bad. <laughs> we were in Duluth one time, and the kids were, uh, they're swimming out in, what is that beach called? Park Point Beach or whatever. Okay. Uh, and they were playing a game called I'm Drowning. Help me. <laughs> and it was so freaking <laughs> annoying because they'd swim out like 50 feet and then just start uh-huh. screaming, help, help, help. Uh-huh. I'm like, okay, parents, you got to like... Go slap your kid and tell him knock that off. <laughs> oh my! Oh, so it wasn't your kids? Oh no! It would never be my kids. <laughs> that would never happen hey, with my hey, kids. Hey, I'm just checking. <laughs> my kids are super annoying. They would never do something like that to freak people out. Yeah, I so would they, not let that happen. So it was other people's kids that were like, "Oh, look, I'm so scared. I'm drowning." Oh, it freaked is... us out like the first well, yeah. two or three times, and then eventually, I was like, "Well, if your parents don't care, I don't care." <laughs> I don't mean to mean the same, right? But like, but like, if it's the same kids every time, and you know it's becoming yeah. a game, then yeah, don't let your kids play. I'm drowning. No, because help then when me. they're actually drowning, yeah. nobody's nobody's gonna help them. No, oh my god, I was so angry. That and the, day. oh, that's <laughs> super annoying. All right, top three faux pas at the beach. Yes, music too loud. Uh huh. Hogging beach chairs. So this must have included oh. like. Resorts and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, places that yeah. have chairs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you toss your stuff onto the chairs and then you don't even use them. I mean, that's a pool one around here. For sure, yeah. Yeah, if you're not using the chair, you can't use it to just set your stuff on. And the last one, Carly, is not that big of a deal. It's urinating in the water. Dude, that's nasty. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> There's bathrooms. Do it in the bathroom. Yeah, but it's way over there. Oh, God. <laughs> That's why the beach is the worst, because of you people. (laughs) So Netflix is trying to do their crackdown on password sharing. Yes. Well, Blockbuster a few days ago tweeted at them and said, hey. Why does Blockbuster have a Twitter account? (laughs) Are they still in business? Like, what is happening? You know, I'm not sure if they're still in business. But it was quite funny because Blockbuster said a friendly reminder that when you used to rent videos from us, we didn't care who you shared it with as long as you returned it on time <laughs> <Okay>. at Netflix. <laughs> Did Netflix fire back? You know that? I'm not sure, but I really doubt it. Probably they not. probably There's looked like, and said, <laughs> cute. Block- yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? <laughs> I don't even know her. <laughs> 
Lemonade Day is coming up in Rochester, which is a big day to help teach kids about entrepreneurship, Mm -hmm. like running your own business, that kind of stuff. Just hosting a fun lemonade stand. So you can sign up. You can have your kids sign up to get a little packet to get all set up for Lemonade Day, which is coming up on June 10th. LemonadeDay.org if you want to check out the details. Yes, yes. And you even uh, get to, when you register, they put you on a map. So people in mm-hmm. are all around town. There's 24 lemonade stands set up for the day already. Come up with a cute name for your stand. Yes. Attract business, raise money. Exactly. What's the uh, going rate for a cup of lemonade? <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd, probably a buck. A buck, yeah. I'd say a buck is pretty Anything good. Anything more than a buck, I'm probably not going to stop. I'd be like, oh. <laughs> I know there's inflation and all, but like you're 10. Oh, that's smart. If you've got kids, pl- <laughs> play that up, man. Inflation. Tell Supply them inflation. chain issues. Yes. All that BS. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> LemonadeDay.org if you want to check out details yes. on that. And finally, Governor Walls is expected to sign a bill legalizing recreational use of marijuana in Minnesota. He's expected to sign that today, and then it wouldn't go into effect until August 1st. So don't y'all go celebrating and yeah, lighten right. up today because you'll still get in trouble. <laughs> so we got all the details on our app right now, and we were both surprised by how oh. much you are allowed to have. Oh, yeah, you're allowed to have two pounds in your home. If you never smoke, you probably are like, two pounds, that doesn't seem like a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. That's lot. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> You're only allowed to have that in your house, so, but there's like a whole oh. list of the what the rules will be. Um, so you can check that out on our app. Uh, they also say that, um, so the law would go into effect on August 1st. It would also expunge the records of low-level marijuana offenders, which is great. That's pretty cool, yeah. Yeah. All the high schoolers that got busted with a joint or something like that, and they got that on the record. The stupid little, yeah. yeah, 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 right, exactly. So he's expected to sign that. Uh, there's supposed to be a signing ceremony starting at noon today. So you can get all the details on that and read more local news right now on the 106.9 KROC app. Duncan and Carly, weekday mornings on 106.9 KROC.